Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today I have a 45 minute dumbbell strength workout from head to toe, so grab your weights and let's get to it. All right, hello team, it's time to get started, yay! Uh, for today, a large variety of weights again. We're just working on strength. All right, so I have a set of 15s, 20s, 25s, 30s, and a single 40, all right? We're gonna be doing a lot of unilateral work, so single side, trying to gain control of both sides of our body and strength. And then we'll go into more of a bilateral where we use two weights and the body is working together, okay? So just know that, get a bunch of weight out. We're gonna get started here. I wanna move through our joints. We're gonna activate, always are gonna, <laughs> uh, usually, typically in here, we're gonna activate some of the core muscles today as well but before we move on to this workout. It's good for you, it's good practice. We'll get a little strength out of it because we'll be doing it a bit more than usual, okay? So more sets. All right, let's just keep swinging those arms. Let's put those hands on our shoulders, kiss those elbows, open up. Kiss the elbows, open up, there you go. I can't say that without laughing. There we go, in and out, in and out. Feels good, really squeeze those shoulder blades together and then round them out, squeeze and round them out. Push them away, bring them together. That's it, good. Big circles with that. Again, touching those elbows in the center. There you go. Oh, I hope you're having a good day. I know it's sometimes hard to show up, but you are here. Let's reverse that circle. You are here, so give it what you can. All right, just give it your 10. And that will change day to day, but I want you to give it your 10. All right, nice work. Let's get some swings in here real quick too before we go on down. We're gonna start with weights on some of this already today. So be ready for it. You don't have to though. You can keep the weights out. We'll let you know when we wanna start adding them in, all right? So this first part, it would be okay. Except for one of these, maybe, no. Actually, any of it, we could just do body weight. All right, let's switch legs here. Swing it out, stand tall. Open up those hips. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one, good, let's scoop it out here, like ice cream. <laughs> oh, I could eat it every day, all day. That's the one thing that I, if I, was, if I only had one thing to eat all the time, that would be my choice. <laughs> there we go, come on, keep scooping down towards that, trying to get a little bit further each time. Let's touch those toes and drop that bottom into a nice and deep squat. Then I want you to raise that bottom up. Keep those fingers at the toes. Those hamstrings might be tight. We may not get as high up. That's okay. Give me one more because we got to get down to the floor. All right. I'm going to grab a little weight on this, maybe just a 15 to start. We're going into a glute bridge with a single foot. So maybe no weight for some of us, okay? Right foot down. I just want you to lift those hips up and down. Left foot is off. You can extend that leg. I don't want you swinging it though. All right, so we're working here, everyone. If I didn't count you down, go ahead and lift into it, squeeze. There, back down, good. I want you on that heel, that right heel, so you feel it um, on the behind, okay? In that glute. Keep it coming. Three, two, and one, nice work. We're gonna switch it over to that left hip, holding that weight there, extend that right leg. Here we go, into that left side. A little bit of balance here. Keep those hips squared. I actually am going up onto the heel of my left foot here just to kind of make sure that I get it in that back side. Keep that heel close to the bottom. Good, don't swing the right leg. Keep that leg still. It can be down, but we're not swinging it. We're finding this movement in, that in the hip, okay, or in the glute on that left side. Three, two, and one. We're going again. Switch back to the right that way. Here we go. Lift and lower. Up and down. We're gonna be moving like this a lot today. Right, left, right, left a couple times. And then joining the body together for a bilateral movement. But for now, we're not doing that exactly. <laughs> just follow my lead. That's why I'm here. Don't think, just do. All right. Good, feeling it in that right glute, I hope. That bottom, right? That right cheek there. <laughs> All right, three, two, and one. Switch back to that left side. Here we go, team. 
Lift and lower, lift and lower, you got it. Squeeze. Try to feel it in your bottom and not your quads, not the top of your thighs here, okay? Behind on the bottom. And I'm not gonna go all the way down. I typically like to barely touch on these bridges so that I keep that contraction in the glute and I don't let go of it. I like to keep it there. Once I find it, just hold on to it. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. All right, weighted dead bug. So I'm gonna go kind of light here, but we can do heavier if you want. Actually, I'm gonna go a little heavier. I suggest just a light weight or no weight at all. So I'm gonna grab a 25 in my right arm here. All right, let's start with the right arm, weight overhead. Let's bring those knees up into tabletop bent and our left arm overhead, okay? So we're gonna extend our right leg and left arm and bring them up to the top and back down. Three, two, and one. Here we go, up and down. Holding that right weight over the core. We may not have weight today. You might just be doing this without the um, dumbbell at all, okay? You're just holding an arm up there. We're just working one side today. We will get to kind of a different move later. There we go, that's it. Lift and lower with control. Pull the core, the uh, belly button and the ribs towards the floor. All right, we're gonna switch now, team. Left hand, all right, knees bent. Right arm extends and left arm extends up and down. All right, good, draw in. Pull the ribs towards the floor. Your rib cage, there you go, that's it, with control. Now, if you find that you cannot lower that leg and keep that back at the floor, just modify your movement, shorten that range. Don't bring the leg so far to the floor. Okay, three, two, and one. Good, we're going back to the other side. Right arm has the weight or is in the air. Extend that right leg and left arm. All right, right leg, left arm. Up and down, that's it. We're working 30 seconds here. There you go. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift, drawing in at the whole, the whole time. All right, we already have some bracing going on because we've got this weight over our chest. Helps us find that without thinking about it. Three, two, and one, good. Switch over to that left side. Knees up, here we go. Left leg down, right arm out. Lift them up and lower. Lift and lower, exhale. Inhale when you lower. Exhale as you lift, drawing everything to the floor, that's it. A lot of focus today, control, slow movement here, all right? A lot of times we are dominant on one side of our body and that side kind of takes over. So we're trying to equal things out today. Control, find control on both sides of our body. Three, two, and one. Nice work. We've got a farmer's march now. We're just gonna do one side offset. So with this weight in your right hand, all I want you to do is lift that left leg and set it down. Lift and stick and set it down, all right? Love this one, you'll feel this tug here. We have to brace, we have to draw in. You might just bring the foot up to here. You might just go on your toes, just practicing. You don't even need the weight if you just wanna practice finding balance in that leg. Three, two, and one, here we go. Lift and stick. And I'd like a three count, at least maybe five on that stick, two, three, four, and five, down, up, two, three, four, five, down, up, three, two, three, four, five, down, and again, up and stick it, hold, three, two, and one, good job. Let's bring that weight over to the other side. Again, no weight needed if we're learning to find balance here, okay? Lift that right leg. Stick it for about five, reset. Lift, two, three, four, five, reset. Lift, two, three, four, five, reset. Lift, two, three, four, five, reset. This is a good one to do barefoot so that you can go ahead and practice with your foot feeling the earth and finding that balance. Rest, nice work. We're right back to the other side. Here we go. Three, 
two, and one. Lift, find that balance. Notice I'm exploding through that lift so that I have to throw myself off a little bit and find balance at the top. Here we go. Lift, two, Here we go. three, four, five. Good. It is my goal to help you find strength, but also a good base, solid core and balance in your workouts, in your life, because that's so important in order to build any strength off of. We have to have a good solid uh, foundation. Let's go ahead and switch. Left side, here we go. Last one here, then we're gonna go through a few exercises that combine some of the stuff we just worked on, all right? Back up. I know, don't worry, hang in there with me. It's going to get better, but we want to practice. Maybe some of you don't find this challenging. Maybe some of you are like, oh my goodness, I had no idea that I don't have balance right now. Oh no, now you know. Now you know why we work on it. Three, two, and one, nice work. All right, we have two feet for our bridge here. I'm gonna go with two weights as well to kind of stack it up. All right, so I'm gonna grab two 20s. We have our glute bridge, so we're kind of going back to the top. We did a single leg glute bridge. We're gonna go bilateral, both legs down. We're working our glute bridge with or without weight. Hopefully you can grab a little weight. Then we'll have loaded kick out, so we'll have two weights. We're gonna kick out and kick up, kind of combination of the dead bug. But let's start with these bridges. Go ahead and come down. We have a minute here, but I'll give you five seconds rest, okay? Three, two, and one. Lift and lower with your weights if you'd like. Doesn't matter if you wanna keep with body weight for now. I do want you feeling those glutes working for you. Squeeze and lift and lower. All right, now I have a pretty large arch in my lower back. So I like to tuck my tailbone just a little bit here, okay? Keep lowering, three, two, and one. I want you to pause for five, four, three, two, and one. Go again, 30 more seconds. All right, so you're gonna see this today as well where we work a full minute, but I'm gonna give you five seconds to actually give yourself a breather and keep working. There we go, lift and lower. So we can go that full minute today. Squeeze. Oh yeah, there you go. You feel it? <laughs> you should. If you're still feeling the top of those legs, talk to me. Send me a message. Three, two, and one. Rest. We've got weight going up over our chest. I'm gonna go with 25s here. You can go a lot lighter or no weight at all. We are going to kick out and up. Here we go. Three, Two and one, I want you to kick those legs out. Sorry, kick them out and then raise them up into a leg raise, back down. In, out, and up. All right, if that's too much, take one leg out, up, and in. Set it down, other leg up, out, okay? We could do one at a time, holding both weights. Three two and one, rest. We have five seconds, five, four, three, two and one, here we go. And again, lift, lower, tuck. All right, lift, lower, tuck. For those of you who feel your lower back, maybe it's just a knee tuck here. Just heels down, knees in, okay? Keep it in, keep it tight, keep it safe. Here we go, Woo. come on. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, nice work. We have our um, farmer's march. We're gonna alternate now with two weights. I'm gonna take 30s on this one. Three, two, and one, march with me, okay? So just like we did, but we're gonna go ahead with two weights and march. There you go. That's it. Pull those toes towards your shin. Get that foot out there, knee up. I felt myself leaning. I want you to try to stand tall and not lean side to side as you lift that knee. Find your balance. Don't march it too fast. Woo, how's that? If you have that heavy weight, you're feeling that, that tug. Three, two, and one. Rest, five, four, three, Two and one, remember this is a minute, we're going again, lift and lower, good. Really pull those shoulders down, chest out, 
on this one. All right, we're nice and strong. Compact here with the shoulders down, chest out. Pull those toes back towards your shin. Woo! Lift that knee. Keep that balance. You got it here. A couple more for me. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Nice work. All right, we're going to go into a squat press on this one. I'm going to go with 15s, team. All right, we get both weights out. We'll start with a single. We're going down into that squat. We're going to kind of combine upper and lower. We went through a bunch of core stability, hip, all of that strength. We're going to go here, squat to press, right arm. We'll go left arm, right, left, and then for both, okay? Start with that right side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat to press. All right, squat to press. I'm a 120s team. See what you can do. All right, keep working. 30 seconds on each side. There you go. Squat it out and press. Again, feeling that tug on the body. All right. Woo. Finding control with one arm, one side. All right, rest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Left side. Here we go. Up and press. All right, good. Squat to press. It's one motion. We're using our legs, our core, to do a full, smooth motion from that squat to press, all right? Here you go. Reset it before you squat again. Up overhead, reset. Good. Use the legs. There you go. Three, two, and one. We're going again. One more time, right side. Here we go. Woo! Squat to press, reset. We're elevating that heart rate now, okay, as well. We're gonna elevate it more with a little bit of cardio after this before we go back to some good old weighted strength. There we go, press it out, reset. Woo! Good, one motion. You got this. Oh. That's it. Oh. Here we go, three, two, and one. I want you to switch sides. Left side, three, two, and one. Here we go, squat to press. Who's starting to feel it already? <laughs> That's all it took. All right, we got it. So important, we're getting our body to move together. All right, with that weight offsetting the core. Giving that one side a chance to figure it out on its own. There you go. Hoo-ah. Good, three, two, and one. You might go down on weight, you might go up. We need two weights now. Squat to press. Here we go. In 15 seconds, gave us a little bit more. Five seconds here. Squat to press, two at the same time. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're gonna go for a full minute, so we may have to find some other weight. But I am giving us a five second breather to see if we can keep pushing the same weight we have here. Squat to press, team, right up by those shoulder, over, by those ears over the shoulders, not out in front. Okay, look at your weights. They shouldn't be in front of the body. They should be over the shoulders. Here we go, come on. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, five seconds is all we get, but we're going again, 30 seconds. Three, two, and one, here we go. This is the way the workout will go for the rest of this, except for the cardio we're gonna hit here. We're gonna elevate that heart rate a little bit more and move that blood a little bit more. Wake up the body even more. Whew. Here we go, come on team. Who's feeling it? You've got this. You showed up today, you can do this. Modify and keep working. Whew. Stay with me, three, two, and one. Nice work. My shoulders were already a little tired. <laughs> All right, moving on. We have cardio here today. 30 seconds on. A little five second, we'll get into the next exercise. We'll have about 15 seconds and we'll repeat that three times. All right, so we're gonna go in, in, out, out. One, two, one, two, back and forth, okay? Right here, and then we're gonna have heel taps. All right, right here for 30, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. Forward, back. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. 
Woo, we are moving through this workout. 45 seconds ago to pass us by so quickly today. And I know maybe on unilateral work, you know, some of these things have to be done because we are very different on each side of our bodies. All right, who are very dominant, typically on one side. And if we have that dominance, we tend to get weak on one side, tight on other sides, time. So then we struggle, we get injured, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go, tap it out. Heels lift, lift. That's it, right here, you got it. Lift it up, if you wanna add a little bounce in here, cause that feels good and you want a little higher intensity, go ahead, guys. Start your watch if you didn't, I forgot to remind you. <laughs> All right, there we go. Or tap, lift here, up to you. We're just elevating, here we go. Three, two, and one. We have about 15 seconds here, possibly. I might not, I might have kept this moving. All right, a little rest. Here we go, we've got that in, in, out, out. One, two, one, two, back and forth, okay? For 30 seconds, three, Two and one, here we go. Forward, back. One, two, one, two. I have a little line here on my four. And so I'm going in each box, back and forth. If you don't have one, that's okay. Pretend, but we're just forward and back, forward and back. That's it, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, again, control. I love agility for control. Getting that mind-body connection as well. You might say, Tatum, I'm 50 years old. Time, rest. Why do I need that? Because it keeps you quick. Here we go. Tap it out. We want to keep that by mind and body connected. We want that coordination. We want that quick reflex, okay? We want quickness in the body. That way if we trip, if we fall, the muscles respond quick. Our brain responds quick together, okay? So that's why it can be fun too. Yeah, there's that word fun. Yes, yes, it can be. All right. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, what are you drinking today? Just stay hydrated, I'm curious. <laughs> all right, five seconds, we can talk about that today, all day. Three, two, and one, here we go. In, in, out, out. Last round here today, we're getting back to the weight. All right, I like to kind of move through a process of engagement, especially at 45. I need to engage, turn on the body, especially if you're getting up early in the morning to work out, get things turned on, or you've sat at a desk all day. A lot of things are just down, asleep. All right, so we go through this process of waking them up, bringing it together, getting the body engaged, working. Three, two, and one. And that helps us out. Here we go, heel taps. I'm gonna take it up a little. Here we go. All right, that's it, good job. Woo, that's it, tap it out. Again, you can stay low with this. You don't have to take it high, but if you want, take it high with me. All right, that's it. You got this team. We're building, we're building. Woo, oh, I'm really bummed that I didn't start my watching time today. Seven seconds, keep it coming. Woo, that's it. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna have chest first. We're gonna go legs, back, and then back to legs. Right arm only, left arm, right arm, left arm, and then we're gonna press both. So bring both weights out. I'm gonna go with 30s today. We're gonna see, I would like for us get, to get at least about 10 reps in in this 30 seconds. So make sure that weight is somewhere in that range where you can push there. Three, two, and one, right arm, here we go. Now, again, something I love on this is we're showing this right arm some love. We're letting it work without that left side. But we're also needing to control what we feel on this tug as it pulls me to the side. So I want you to squeeze your glutes, draw that navel towards the floor. Now, tighten up here, feet are firm into the floor. All right, try to counterbalance the weight that's tugging. Three. Two and one, we're gonna switch to this left side. Here we go. Three, two and one, begin left side. Feel the difference. Oh, so for me, my left side doesn't feel quite as coordinated or as strong. 
I want you to notice these things. I want you to pay attention today. Sometimes we show up and we start thinking about all this other stuff, and that's okay on some things, maybe during those cardio bouts, but today, I want you to feel what we're doing, okay? I want you to control. I want you to snap into a mind-body connection here, all right? Engage the core. Rest. We're going to the other side, team. Three, two, woo Keep that weight <laughs> over the chest, over the elbow. There we go. Right side, almost lost it. There we go. Talk about being in the moment here. Let's focus. All right, draw in again. Squeeze the glutes. Feet are planted firmly on the ground. Yes, we're feeling that tug to the side. Have a pronated 90 degree type elbow uh, position here on this weight so it pulls on me and I'm feeling this. Three, two, whew, and one. Switch to that left arm, be careful. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. All right, here we go, left side, up and down. Same thing, oh yeah, see it just doesn't wanna go. We all feel that one way or another. Maybe it's your right side because you're left-handed. I don't know, but push, okay? All right, we're going to engage. We're going to get this arm as strong as our right side here. Ooh, equal our body out. Gate control from both sides, making us stronger, healthier, more balanced. Oh, gosh, there we go. Rest. All right, team. We're gonna rest for 15 seconds here, so not much. Grab those weights, two at a time. We're gonna go 30 seconds of work, five seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work. Three, two, and one. Here we go, push them out over that chest. That's it, so we are just knocking out three sets here today in a row of a muscle group by doing unilateral for two set, sets and a long bilateral here with both sides. Oh yeah. We're gonna feel it. We may have to change our weight out, that's okay. You'll have five seconds to do so if you need to. Otherwise, see if you can take the break. Three, two, and one. Take that break. Just gonna keep my weights here. Three, two, and one. Here we go, press it out, oh boy. Count your reps, see where you get. Woo, 30 seconds here. And we're moving on to legs. Oh, that's it, push it out. Exhale. That's it. Come on. <sighs> Find it. You've got it. Give me two more. One. And two. Time. All right. I got 10 in. Oh, barely, but I did it. I hope you guys made it. Let's put that weight aside. We're going into an RDL. Staggered. I'm going to go with my 40 on this one, maybe. So let me show you this real quick without the weight. We're gonna take our left foot forward, right foot at the heel of that other foot on our toes. We're gonna put all this work into this left hip and glute. Weight in the right hand. We're gonna kiss the wall with that back bottom and find our neutral spine. Here we go, three, two, and one. So if you can see that, I want your head in line with your spine so I'm not looking up out this way. My head follows my spine. The hips are pushing towards the back wall. Use light weight until you get this form. Form is everything on this one, okay? I don't want this lower back. You can even put your hand here to make sure that it stays neutral, that we're not tucking or rounding this way, okay? Shoulders are down and back, chest out. Great job, team, we're switching. Left hand, right foot forward. Here we go, push back. Watch your form, practice in front of a mirror, all right? So we want that neutral curve in the spine, whatever that is for you, the natural curve. We don't want to round and reach. I'm going about mid chin, trying to get my body to a tabletop position or parallel to the floor with this by pushing that bottom way back towards that back wall. Three, two, and one. Rest. Woo, right side, here we go, switch. Well, left leg, right arm with the weight, here we go, same thing. Push back, good, find balance, find control. This isn't fast, this is not about going fast today. This is about feeling that single side work for itself. All right, taking the other side out and giving that other, that other side a chance to shine. <laughs> here we go, three, 
two, and one. Nice work. Switch again. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Push those hips back. Keep that head in line with the spine. A lot of people want to torque their neck and look up this way. It's a lot of strain. We spend a lot of time in that position anyways. Get that neck in line. Everything moving together. Ooh, that's it. Push it to that right hip and glute. Try to find a tabletop position. Push back. Just go to about mid shin. Three, two, and one. Rest, 15 seconds here. We're gonna grab two weights on this. That's a 40. If I grab two 25s at 50, I think I'm gonna go there to feel these glutes. So two at a time, same movement. Both feet across from each other. Three, two, and one. RDL, come over about mid shin. Shoulders are stacked down, pulled back, chest out. There you go, push those hips back. Come over to tabletop. That's it, squeeze, squeeze. Push into the floor and squeeze the glutes. We shouldn't be feeling all lower back here. Is it working? Yes, but it should not be painful or like that's all you feel. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Another 30 seconds. This gives us our minute. We got this team. We're going back to upper body with a row after this. Woo! I'm gonna be using my box maybe for this or my knee, we'll talk about it. There we go. Squeeze, come over tabletop, head follows. Squeeze the glutes to stand. Neutral spine, shoulders back. Three, two, and one, rest. Woo, 30 seconds, we have a row. I'm gonna go with my 15s or 20s. I realize a lot of you can row more than that. Let's do this with some support since we just worked that back bending over. So we're gonna go here. All right, you can get deeper if you want a deep lunge, a little bit more balance and control, or more balance work. Here's more control without it, but right here we could come up to this way. You can use a chair. All right, I'm gonna try 20s. Here we go. Three, two, and one. And I'm going low on this row, but feel free to come up higher. All right, but what I want is for you to not have to use a lot of your core. Use a chair here too, if you want to take that core out. Good. Just so we don't overdo it today, I want you to feel your back muscles. I want you to initiate this row with the back by pulling the shoulder blade and shoulder back versus just moving the arm. Three, two, and one. I want you to turn around, switch to the other side. Here we go, three, two, and one. That's it, so pull back. Think about initiating with the back muscles there. I think about pulling my shoulder and my elbow kind of back together. Mostly initiating right up here, and then the arm follows, if that makes sense. That way we get that engagement in the back. A lot of times we just use our arm. Here we go, come on. Three, two, and one. Good job, team. Switch to the other side. Here we go, three. Two, and one, pull it back. That's it, good. Just a little bit here. Again, you don't have to be that low. We can go right here with good support. We can use a chair. My plyo box would be good for this to lean on. There we go. Blow that air out as you row. Inhale as you come back down. Three. Two and one, awesome sauce. Other side, wow, 45 minutes goes by too quick. We're getting there, we're almost there team, here we go. Pull it back, squeeze, and squeeze. Good. As we work through those things that I did in the opener, those glute bridges, the core, and we find stability, everything in here gets a lot easier. Your strength will shoot through the roof once you have that core base. Three, two, and one. And even just doing unilateral work is gonna get you further. Here we go. 15 seconds of rest. I'm grabbing two weights now. Um, I'm gonna go with my 15s. I'm actually gonna go down in weight, and that's just because I have a hard time initiating with my back. Here we go, three, two, 
and one bend over neutral spine shoulders are back find that row both arms at the same time oh it's burning right we feel it we feel it now we're trying to work together a machine at the gym where you can actually pull with both is nice the great thing about this is that we do have each one still pulling their own weight but we have our core working together three two and one rest here we go 30 more seconds three two and one here we go team Woo, we just have one more set with uh, squats okay we're gonna work into our legs again that's it come on squeeze Woo, that's it come on and the sheet with the back not the arms if you need to come out of it for that lower back lift and come back down here we go three two and one rest oh wow okay team next one grab a sip of water while i talk split squats we're on railroad tracks some of us may not need weight on this it's just enough to work balance okay and control here we want control C control in our movement so we're not this way control and where our knees and toes are pointed okay forward start there you may not go all the way to the ground today too that's okay but start there We'll add weight when we do our goblet squat, okay? Three, two, and one. Right foot forward, left foot back. Here we go, up and down. That's it, find stability. How do we find that? We wanna control our hips. How do we do that? We draw in, we brace through the core. That dead bug that we did earlier has a lot to do with that, okay? Oh, drawing in, embracing. Give me a smile, come on. We got this. Oh, that's it, up and down. Three, two, and one. We're gonna switch left foot forward, right foot back. I want you to make sure that you have a 90 degree bend in that front and back leg. So we're not closed in too far. We're not way, we're not stretched out. Sometimes if we're stretched out too far as well into a very wide split squat, we'll lose balance there. So find that happy place, that sweet spot today. Up and down, good. Ooh, and I've been pausing at the top. If you really want to work this, two down, two counts up, and right back into it. Three, two, and one. Rest, okay? Back to the other side. Here we go, right side. Right leg forward, left leg. Let's go ahead and take a right a weight on the right side only. My grip is going. So I'll put this weight on my right shoulder and work, offsetting the core here a little bit more, so. A little bit more controlled, control work here with that weight on one side. There we go, up and down. That's it. Woo, three, two, and one. I felt that just as much without the added weight, just working a little bit more balance. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Another one for me. So we have a goblet squat for a minute. And we're actually gonna cool down and be out of here. I hope this went as fast for you as it did for me. I hope that you felt something. Hope that you feel energized and alive. Do you walk out of here with not only control of yourself, but of your mindset and your positive outlook for the day. There you go, rest. All right. 15 seconds, we're going goblet here. I'm gonna grab, or you could go two weights here, two weights here or goblet, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, up and down. If you don't have a single weight like myself here for this, grab two weights, which I'm gonna do because I'm gonna go a little heavier. So I can grab 225, that was a 40 I had, and make it a little bit heavier. There you go, if your grip is okay. If that grip is bothering you, get it up on your shoulders into a front squat. That helps to hang it here or hold it here instead of having it hanging. Three, two, and one, rest. We're going again. Three, two, and one. Here we go, 30 seconds. Woo, last one. We got it, team. We made it just like that. Nice work. Oh. Exhale to stand. Inhale to squat, exhale to stand. Come on, 12 seconds. 
See what we can get done here for our last one. Woo! Come on. Three, two, and one. Haha. <laughs> cool down. Let's grab a sip of water to start. Awesome work, team. Oh, I don't know about you, but for a 45 minute workout, that flew by. It's kind of a blur. Hopefully you felt that, all right? If you notice discrepancies in each side of the body, maybe more balance on one side, less balance on the other in our split squats. Maybe there's less control of the hip and the knee in one side versus the other. Maybe one shoulder just has no strength in it because you hurt it at some point, but you never rebuilt it, okay? So pay attention to these things. These are important to our health, to our movement, to feeling better being stronger, all right? We're not gonna be able to press more weight overhead if we've got one shoulder lagging behind, right? We're gonna be able to do two dumbbells heavy. One side's gonna take over, possibly get injured as well. The other one might get hurt too. So this is why we do what we do. I like to coach and explain it. <laughs> Have a sip of water. I'm having coffee today. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and stretch it out. We have about four minutes. Let's bring that left arm across, shoulders down. Don't forget you're stretching either. Don't leave. Don't leave. Allow for 45 minutes. Allow for the stretch. All right. Another important thing. We get stiff. We get tight. Maybe you felt that. That pulls you off. Maybe you felt that. Maybe that is the issue with the strength in your shoulder is not so much that it's so weak, but maybe the tightness is there, the immobility to actually press it well. Something else to talk about. We will have some foam rolling um, workouts as well. So if you have any questions about foam rollers, let me know. All right, other side switch, shoulders down. That's it, give yourself a little hug here. Good job to you. Thank you so much. So grateful for you showing up here today. Grateful for your support. Grateful that we can do this together, that we can do it at all, okay? There are some people that cannot. All right, let's reach around with that chest stretch. I want you to interlace those fingers. Oh, I am sore today and pull back. If that is too tough, I want you to grab onto a towel with two hands, allow for some space here so that you can pull back and open up that chest. Be grateful. Even when you don't wanna show up, show up because you can. Because you can, it is a choice. If it is important to you, you will do it. You will find a way, all right? We're moving every day, 10 minutes, first thing in the morning. This happens to be my movement, but I'll tell you the thing that I need to, ooh, there we go, let's go ahead and round out. And release those fingers, tuck the chin to chest. I need a little bit of cardio in my morning too, just for my endorphins, just to feel good, uh, to kind of put my mindset in a positive place. So if you can, go for a walk, a row, bike, on a stationary bike. Walking is great. I think walking is the best thing to de-stress with, to kind of set your mindset or set your mind in the right place. You can get out there, especially if you can get outside, breathe in the air, hear the birds chirp. <laughs> yes, I'm that cheesy. Round it out one more time down the front. Bring it up overhead. Let's give it a little back bend here. Ooh -ah. All right, we're going down the floor. Two areas of tightness that we usually feel or maybe aren't aware of though from sitting would be our hip flexors or quads. So I really want to get those. We're going to work on them. The more we can loosen them up, the better we can engage our glutes, maybe the less back pain we feel too or tightness. So go ahead, take a half kneeling position. I want you to tuck that pelvis and we're going to push forward. There are a lot of things I don't repeat in my workouts up and over. I love to keep workouts uh, fresh and new. Yes, we're doing chest press a lot. Yes, we're doing row a lot, but you'll see different variations of that. But when it comes to stretching, when it comes to a few of these tight places or activation of glutes, you'll see some repetitive stuff going on. But those are areas I like to work. Reach over that knee, all right? We're pulling up there. A lot of times we get tight in this lower back area. We have a muscle in there, the psoas. It can tug if it's tight. This is helping it. So again, we have to tuck our tailbone, push forward till you feel the front of that stretch in the leg, and then reach over. Feels oh so good. Pay attention to my shorts. Take a look at those. Sometimes I have things like this and foam rolling in there for you. We're gonna reach around and grab this for a uh, quad. Actually, we'll go to the floor. Let's make sure we can all do this. Here we go. We gotta hurry, tuck that t uh, pelvis, push forward, feeling it in the front of the leg and reach. We're gonna, go back, we're gonna go down to our belly for the quad stretch. It's a little bit easier. If you struggle reaching your feet for quad stretching, like Tatum, I need to stretch my quads. I just don't know how to do that. Grab by a band, a yoga band. 
or you could use a belt. You can use a towel to help yourself out with that. All right, and I don't have one here for demonstration, but it is in one of my shorts. Talk to me, people. Talk to me, team. I am here to help. Let's go down to our stomach. You're gonna grab that right foot. You can push up here for a deeper stretch or stay down low. If you had a towel, you would wrap it around and hold this towel here with this hand. All right, ask me about it. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll put something up on it. There we go, switch to the other side, same thing. We're at 45 minutes, I'm sorry, running us behind just a bit here. Get that stretch though, it's important. We wanna keep things all equal, Forever. controlled here. We have more control when we have our flexibility, mobility as well. All right, nice work team. I'm gonna call it a day. I know we have things to do. I appreciate you. Awesome for showing up today. Let me know how this one went. Comment, like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Keep passing this along. The more we can grow, the better these videos can become, the more we can do for you. I appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Stay positive and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.